Right, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Victoria. I'm a mum of two girls and today I am going to be filming my very first Q&A. Um, I got so many questions, I never thought I'd get as many questions as I did. I am actually going to do this in one part now because I just feel like I might miss questions out that are important to people, if you know what I mean. So just going to do it in one take, one part, while a little one naps. I do have a coffee, you might want to get yourself a brew because I do have... Uh, thir over 30 questions, so um, yeah, get settled in. Right, so here we go. Just a little bit of a get to know me, um, because I have had a fair few new subscribers in the past year, and yeah, it's just nice to do this as well. I have got all the questions written down on paper. So I've had this a couple of times. This is how did you and Liam meet and any plans of marriage? So, it's not the best of meeting stories. We kind of knew each other from school. Um, he was actually with my best friend in school, but they weren't together when we got together. So, I actually went to my best friend's party, um, her secret birthday party. I didn't know it was a birthday party. Um, I was told it was a Eurovision party because she didn't know it was a birthday party. So I went along and I knew he liked me. I'd been told he liked me. And I kind of liked him, he was kind of cute, and it just felt nice to be, like, liked, because in school I was bullied, like, mad. Um, we'd had a bit too much to drink, and we ended up kissing that night, and the next day we kind of made it official. So this year we have actually been together 13 years, just gone. Um, we we both drank way too much that night, and we, we ended up kissing just randomly out of the blue. I ended up almost falling asleep on him in their doorway um and yeah we just kind of have been together ever since any plans of marriage i would love to get married and as you can see i do have a ring on my finger but <laughs> this ring is also almost 13 years old he asked me on my 17th birthday to marry him and we have just never got any further than that um i'd love to get married one day it's just mainly expense really and yeah um he asked me, he took me out for a meal, and that's when he asked me. So, yeah, um, hopefully soon, hopefully in the near future, we will be Mr. and Mrs. Party. <laughs> Question number two, uh, where, do you like, where would you like to be in five years or future plans? Um, I also got this asked a few times, so I would like to be at this flat. I really would. Um, it's all right up here but it brings back a lot of memories of my mum and it's just really not the nicest of areas anymore. I'd also like a garden for the girls. I really would like a garden for the girls and I've always wanted a house. I've always lived in a flat because my mum was disabled and yeah, so um, I'd like that. I'd also maybe like a job. Um, well, I would like a job. I would like, I'd like this to be my job, but that's a different story. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to move and just be a bit better off, really, um, in money and mental health and everything. Five loves and five dislikes. So I love reading. I love vlogging. I love chocolate, <laughs> coffee, and I love animals too. Dislikes. I don't like tea anymore. Um, since having Olivia, I don't drink tea, so that's number one. I don't like... God, this is hard. Okay, so I had to pause it to have a think. So I don't like tea, I don't like confrontation at all. Um, we, I just feel really awkward in confrontational sort of situations. I don't like washing up, it's my pet hate, I, lo I hate washing up completely. I don't like the wind because we live in a top floor flat. I'm always worried that it's going to like blow the flat over, which is ridiculous, I know. And I also don't like haters or dislike dislikers because there's no point in spreading hate. Like, just don't do it. If you don't like my videos or don't like people's videos, just click off them. Just go away, <laughs> really. Um, any holidays this year? Sadly, we don't have any holidays planned this year. Um, I'd love to, but yeah. Um, we just don't have anything planned. So I've been asked this a couple of times as well, which is Liam's job and my job. My job is to look after the kids at the moment, and this is a hobby of mine. I love doing YouTube. 
Um, Liam doesn't work at the moment, but he is about to start training to be able to drive a 32 ton lorry. Stuff like, um, not an articulated one, it has to be all in one piece. Um, but yeah, he is going to be starting training for that very soon. He's just waiting for his license to come back. So that would be really nice if he can do that and then get a job doing that because that's kind of what he wants to do. Uh, would you move? I kind of answered this in the second question. Yes, I really, really want to move. Um, I'd like a bigger house. I'd like the girls to have a separate room or just a bigger room, just so they had more room to play and have fun. Um, again, I said I'd like a garden. I'd love a garden. I've never, well, actually, we used to have gardens. All these flats used to have gardens, but they were taken away just to put some green space outside. But everyone's out there. There's rubbish everywhere. And it's just not the most nice place to play out there do you want more kids um i was going to say this in my five year plan because yes i do want more kids i just want one more um liam is at the moment a no-go because olivia has been a struggle as you know like with silent reflux she hasn't slept very good she's quite a whingy baby um so he's really struggled with all that where i can take it i suppose us mums can take it a lot more um so yes i would like one more but whether that will happen or not is another matter, hence why I didn't put it in my five year sort of plan. Um, is it easy doing YouTube with kids, with vlogging more and meet and greets? Sort of, this was all in one section. So I don't think I would be comfortable doing a meet and greet just because I'm quite a shy person in real life and I just don't think that I have enough sort of, I don't know. I have so many supporters, but I just don't think I'm, yeah worth coming to me honestly vlogging more i do try and vlog a lot but it's the editing that gets me um i'd love to vlog it every day but i tried that and i was just getting behind and just not being able to spend time with my family or i was just getting so stressed because i wasn't getting a video up that day that it just was really not good and like with vlogmas i struggle to do that because of the same thing like the editing takes a couple of hours to do at least for a day in the life um to get it all um, transfer to the computer, uploaded, choosing your music, making your thumbnail. It does all add up and I think lots of people don't actually realise that. Um, it's not that difficult with children as long as you work around them and if you try and keep a schedule or, well I am back in my schedule now, but if you try and keep it together and if you sort of plan ahead you can sort of film a couple of videos at once like while they're napping. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, and I love doing it. My dream job is either this or I'd like to be a teaching assistant because I don't think I'd do actual teaching um, or I'd love to be a midwife. They are my sort of dream jobs. My favourite Disney character. I haven't even thought about this. Oh my god. Um... My favourite Disney character would probably have to be, this is Disney Pixar, but it'd probably have to be Wally. I love him so much. He's so adorable. My favourite chocolate bar. Now, if you watched when I was pregnant, my favourite chocolate at that point was chocolate orange, like Terry's chocolate orange. And um, it is still Terry's chocolate orange. I, can't, I can still devour a whole bar if I'm not careful. Um, I do also like dairy milk chocolate. I'm going to say something here. I don't like galaxy chocolate whatsoever. Um, but yeah, dairy milk and chocolate orange. What is my favourite meal? Now, that has got to be a roast dinner in the winter time. I love a good roast dinner with all the trimmings, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, stuffing, all the veggies, parsnips, carrots, cabbage, broccoli, love it, uh, gravy. But in the summer, it would probably have to be just a simple salad because I don't like eating big hearty meals in summer. I kind of wish I didn't in winter because that's when you put all the weight on. But yeah, I do like a salad, like a chicken and bacon salad, tuna pasta salad, all that sort of stuff in summertime. What, what car would I have if I could have any car in the world? Oh my God. I always said when I was younger I'd have a Mazda 2 for some reason, they're really boring, so it's probably not what I'd have now. Um, I kind of like the Lamb Rover Evoque, I think it's called, Range Rover Evoque, Range Rover Evoque. I also like the new Lamb Rover, um, not Discovery, oh 
defender, the new defender, um, I think they're really nice as well. Where would I live if I could live anywhere in the world? That would be Malta. That's the only place that I have been that I would really like to move to. Um, I think it's such a beautiful little island and me and Liam got to explore it quite nicely. I also told my mum I was pregnant with Lils there. So it's kind of got connections in that way too. Um, so yeah, I would love to live in Malta because it's just gorgeous. My favourite holiday, as in Christmas, Halloween, that sort of thing. It would probably have to be at Christmas. I love getting prepared for the girls. I love the build up to Christmas. I love getting all Christmassy and wintry and cosy with like hot chocolates and gingerbread and all that sort of stuff. I love prepping for all their presents and stockings and getting the decorations up, meeting Santa and all that. So yeah, that's got to be my favourite um, holiday. Have I been on an aeroplane and how did I feel when I got off? It's roughly that. I've just put aeroplane travel. Um, yes, I have actually been in a light aircraft for my 15th birthday. Um, my mum couldn't travel in, on a flight and my dad didn't want to take me on holiday without my mum, which is obviously fair enough. Um, so they booked me to go on a little flight from Lyd Airport, which is about half an hour, 45 minutes from us, which took like a half an hour flight around the area. I couldn't hear myself when I was on that flight. I went up on my own with other people, but like not with my dad or anything. So that was a really cool experience. I have no photos of that though, or anything like that, but it was such a cool experience. I had to go through security and um, yeah, we flew, flew around like all our areas. I saw my flat. I saw loads of different things from this plane and it was such a cool experience. And then on 20, in 2012, um, I was very, very lucky to be invited on a cruise ship with Liam's family for his 21st birthday. So we actually flew to Genoa and flew back from Genoa to England. That was the most incredible experience ever. I don't think I stopped smiling the whole flight. I was a little bit nervous because obviously it's high in the sky and that, but it was the best experience ever. I will try and insert a couple of pictures if I can of like, we flew over the Alps and the, it was just beautiful, that it was stunning. And when I got off, I was really excited because obviously I had a trip. And when I got home, I was excited to tell mum about all the, about me being pregnant and um, everything I'd felt and everything I'd experienced on this cruise ship. Three items I'd take on a desert island. So with me, just if it was just me and no kids about, I would have a book, definitely. Um, I would have... Hmm. I'd have sun cream because I burn so badly. And I'd have a hair tie because my hair, this is like tame compared to what it could be when it gets wet so yep yeah, those are the three things foods i'd like to try um i am partial to trying anything and everything so if we're on holiday i will give everything a try i'd like to try snails one day i know it sounds really weird but i would because they're meant to be a delicacy i'd also like to try frog's legs all that sort of stuff just to give it all a go um because why not? If I don't like it, I don't like it. And if I do, then it's something new that I can try. My favourite animal. If it's a domestic animal, it would have to be a cat at the moment. Because we have our own very own Jack. Jack, Jack. Um, he is our little black cat and he is three years old. And if it was any animals in the world, I absolutely love giraffes. There is just something about them. They're absolutely beautiful animals. I have actually fed a giraffe when we went to Colchester Zoo a few years ago and I just think they're absolutely stunning animals so yeah. Dinner party with a celebrity. Now this took me seconds to think about Julie Walters. I love this woman. I would absolutely love to have a meal with her and just talk about her experiences of all the films she's been in, the people she's met like Victoria Wood, Daniel Radcliffe, um, she has been in so many beautiful productions and I just like to hear some of her stories and actually meet the woman um, because she seems so down to earth as well in all of her interviews and I just love her. Oh, so we're on to the back of the paper now. So I have been asked about my tattoo story. This is my tattoo. So 
So that tattoo is from my mum. Uh, my mum sadly passed away in 2017 and she was going to pay for a tattoo. Um, so my dad paid for one and it's in her memory. Um, she used to call me TikTok, hence the clock face. And the time on the clock is actually the time that I was born. Um, I have had a couple of like comments asking about my mum and whether I do a video. I didn't know whether you actually wanted that. If you do, please let me know down below. Um, I, won't, I won't mind doing it. It's just I don't want to do it and people not watch it, if you know what I mean. Because I think it's going to be a little bit of a harder video for me to film. But yeah, um, so it is literally just a clock face with the time I was born. Um, I do want to have it added to it in the future, like flowers and that. Um, yeah, I've had this since October of 2017. So yeah, I had it the same year that she passed away. But yeah, next question. Uh, my favorite band. Sorry if you can hear the drilling, by the way, we're having work somewhere in the block. Um, not sure what floor. So yeah, if you hear that, I'm sorry. My favorite band, it's a little bit cheesy. Um, so I'm going to say my favourite male band is McFly. <laughs> Growing up with McFly, still love them. Um, I follow all of, all of them on Instagram and follow their fact, like their stories. And also Tom Fletcher, we've got most of his books for Lils. She loves the way he writes. Um, and my favourite female band has probably got to be Little Mix. Lils absolutely loves Little Mix and I am quite partial to listening to their music too. They are all absolutely fantastic singers and yeah um it's just nice that Lils has got like a group to grow up with like that because obviously we had the Spice Girls and they made my sort of childhood if you know what I mean and Lils absolutely loves listening to them so I've had a couple of questions how I budget for a family of four I don't really budget I kind of <laughs> tell a lie um we have quite a lot of finance and I keep it all in a book I know when all the bills got to come out, um, I mark them off on the calendar and then all the finance that we've got, I know exactly how much we've got to pay off and I mark that off every single month, I know how long we've got left to pay all these items off and that's kind of one of my main things I do is just keep a log of everything like that. Um, and I also look for the cheapest deals on stuff, so cheapest offers for Christmas, for toys, for the girls. If I see something reduced that I know they'll love, I will grab it there and then. Um, and with food, I try and keep the food shop under £85 for a fortnight. We do do top-ups of like milk, bread, all that sort of stuff. But I do try and keep the, the main food shop under £85 just because then I know how much we've got left to spend uh, for the rest of the fortnight, really. Have I always lived in this area? I have always lived in Hastings, yes. And I was actually born and bred in Hastings. And I have actually always pretty much lived on this street. So we moved to the road that I live on when I was one years old. When I was a mere one year old, literally two blocks along. Um, and we didn't move from there till I was 17. We moved in the November of 20 uh, 2008 because Liam helped bless him so we moved them uh, we moved to a, like the other side of town I absolutely hated where we moved then me and Liam moved in together for a year and then we moved to Liam's mum and dad's for a year um, which was back to the other end of town and then when I was pregnant with Lily we decided to go on the council list because it was going to be very cramped with a baby in the house and we got offered this place when I was 38 weeks pregnant um, and as I said it's literally two two blocks from my old flat um, we've got the same postcode still and everything so yeah I spent most of my life on this street which is crazy um, ha have I got any siblings? this is a little bit of um, an awkward one because yes I have Two siblings from my dad, so I have my brother Paul, who you may have seen in a couple of clips before. I do have a sister called Anna, um, they're both my half siblings. I do not talk to her anymore, um, she is not in my life anymore and I'm not going to go into reasons because that's just private. And then my mum also had children, so she had Joe, who was born at three days, um, who died at three days old due to a heart condition. 
which now Lil's got checked for, but because Lil's didn't have it, um, Olivia didn't get checked and her heart looked fine. She was actually born with a hyperplastic left heart and sadly passed away at three days old. Um, and that is why Lil's has got Lily Joe as her name. Uh, they are two separate names, but that's why she's got Joe in her name. And then I also had a brother called John who was a stillborn. So my mum went through the ringer having babies. Um, and then I came along and I was called Victoria because I was their victory, apparently, which is a really sweet story. But yeah, so I have two um, siblings in heaven and I have two around me, but I only talked to one of them. <laughs> so yeah, um, what made me start YouTube? I actually started YouTube on a different channel, completely different channel, um, just for giggles really, for me and my friend to do and we liked Charlie is so cool like back then, I don't know whether any of you have watched him or heard of him, but he did something about an ergonomically shaped cup and we copied him, stuff like that, all silly stuff. Um, and then I started documenting my first pregnancy on there and that Sadly ended when I was six weeks pregnant. Um, I had a miscarriage about six weeks and three days pregnant and I deleted my pregnancy videos, which I now completely regret. But I filmed a miscarriage video on there. Um, and I will leave that link down below if you want to see that. It was called Giggle, um, Gizmo Google for some reason. Um, so yeah, and then I started this channel, which was then known as Giggles in, Giggles in Lovable. I think it was, which is really cheesy and really bad. And my first videos on here were actually seeing the Coca-Cola truck. And then literally a month after that, I found out I was pregnant with Lily. So then I started documenting my pregnancy with her and it's gone from there. My bucket list. I don't personally have a bucket list. I do add stuff to a bucket list, but I don't personally have a bucket list because I actually have anxiety and I'm afraid of dying. Um, I'm just going to come out there. I have done videos on this before. So I think if I ever ticked off everything on my bucket list, it would make me really paranoid. So I don't have like a written down bucket list. I just sort of think, oh, I'd love to do that in the future kind of thing, rather than having like a, a set list. How did I cope with lockdown or how did we cope with the lockdown? Cope with lockdown without a garden? Luckily, um, around our area, we have nature trails around the back Um which are very open so we took our daily exercise up there and just sort of walked around you may have seen a few pictures on my instagram or i think i filmed a couple of times as well um we just took walks around there really there was loads of space for everyone to be like social distance at the time and it was just nice to get some fresh air and then when we were home obviously i had a little school work to think about so we did that I was prepping for Olivia at first and then we had her to think about so I think with the idea of having a baby in like the first few weeks of lockdown I would change it for the world but in another way it kind of helped because we had this other thing to worry about rather than just Lil's and schoolwork so yeah <laughs> um making friends do I struggle yes I I really struggle to make friends um I I'm such a social like awkward person and you can probably tell the way I'm talking on here sometimes I just kind of stand there and listen to everyone else's conversation rather than joining in um I do have a couple of amazing friends out there but I do struggle to make friends and I do struggle to keep friends like I don't talk to anyone from school anymore from when I used to go to school um so yeah do I prefer to be home or do I like to be out and about I love to be out and about um, I love taking day trips, I love just being out in the fresh air, but I do like it when you come home and you've got your bed to lie in. So yeah, I like a bit of both really, it depends on how I feel. Um, favourite personal care slash makeup? I don't really use a lot, I'm not going to lie. Um, I do like mascara because my eyelashes are actually completely pale. So I have got mascara on at the moment. I don't care what brand I have as long as it makes my eyelashes look a bit better than it does. Um, I use hand cream daily because my hands are awful. And yeah, um, I also have started to self tan, but I wouldn't recommend what I've got. I am using this and I don't see much difference in my skin, which is the Dermaspar. I thought it'd be really good, but it's just not amazing. So um, 
yeah if anyone can like recommend something like that i don't want to go full self tan like full tan but i do want something that does like a gradual tan so yep um just mascara really <laughs> would i go to the warner brothers studios to it again yes 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 i'm a big harry potter fan i have got so much stuff now um it's a little bit geeky but i absolutely love it it just makes me happy so yes i would go back loads of times if i could Sorry, I had a notification come up on my phone because I film on my phone. My dream vacation. I would absolutely love to go to America. Um, I have a really close subscriber in who lives in America and I'd love to go meet her. I'd also like to go to Disney, Disney World over there and just experience America in a different way. So yeah, um, that's my dream vacation. What is my favourite movie? Um, I kind of just explained it. I am a big Harry Potter fan. I love all the Harry Potter movies. Love the Fantastic Beast movies. Um, they are literally my favourite. But also, I do like Bridget Jones's Diaries. They are a kind of a guilty pleasure. And I also like Love Actually. They're sort of the go-to films if, if I'm feeling a bit low. Or if I just want something just to make me feel a bit homely and cosy lastly is my summer holiday plans i just want to make memories with the girls so beach trips park trips um any days out possible even just paddling pools over nannies and barbecues and just making time for the girls really but yeah i think that is our summer holiday plans just to make memories with the girls so I hope I haven't rambled on too much. I hope I have covered everything well enough for you. I hope I didn't go too fast with the questions, but I just didn't want to be when it but I just didn't want it to be too long. Um so yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, click the subscribe button below and I shall see you very soon in another video. Bye!